Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and in this video, we're going to solve this equation right here. Looks pretty straightforward. Uh, what we have here is one half x squared is equal to six. And if you know how to solve this uh, equation, it should only take you a, a few specific steps. And uh, let me go ahead and just tell you another thing here. On most exams and uh, quizzes that you might take on a problem like this, you're not going to be using your calculator. So your teacher is not really interested in seeing decimal solutions. Now, it's important that you know how to get decimal solutions. So just put your calculator away and make sure you fully simplify this solution. Uh, for those of you that are pretty good in algebra, you know what I mean. But uh, anyways, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section if you know how to solve this. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second that I'm going to uh, show you these precise steps. And there's not that many to solve this type of equation. Uh, also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? Uh, just to kind of, um, you know, set the stage. Now, if you don't want to hear any hints to this problem, you know, maybe you go and pause the video real quick. But what we're dealing with here happens to be a quadratic equation, right? This is a polynomial or a second degree polynomial. So that's a little bit of a hint. Okay, we're solving a quadratic equation here. And there are different ways to solve quadratic equations. Uh, in a problem like this, it's actually quite easy to solve this uh, equation. But let's go ahead and see the answer. And the answer is the following. Okay, so x is equal to positive negative 2 times the square root of 3. Now, uh, this is actually two solutions. We have positive 2 square root of 3 and negative 2 square root of 3. And uh, just to kind of make things easier to write, uh, typically uh, you'll see this written as both positive and negative 2 square root of 3. But again, this is uh, 2 distinct uh, solutions to this equation, and here they are. Now, if you didn't get this, it's possible that you were on the right track, but you just didn't finish the problem, okay? And you'll see uh, what I'm talking about as I get into the steps. But if you got this right, that is outstanding. Let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that you're an expert in solving basic quadratic equations. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. Now, again, you know, we are talking about quadratic equations. This is a big topic in algebra, but this is like one of the most uh, simplest type of quadratic equations you can face. Let's even make an, uh, an, a quick example of an even uh, a simpler quadratic equation. What if you had x squared is equal to 4, okay? So this right here, this is a, what we call a polynomial. It's a second-degree polynomial. And anytime you um, are faced with a quadratic equation, you're always going to have two solutions. Now, when you can take the square root of both sides, like in this situation right here, you want to do that. So here, uh, solving this, x squared is equal to 4. x is going to be equal to the square root of 4. So if I just said, hey, what's the square root of 4? And this wasn't involved in an equation or anything like that. Typically, the answer would just be 2. Okay, This is what we call... Uh, the principal square root because 2 times 2 is 4. All right, so hopefully you know that. Now, uh, negative 2 is also, okay, uh, the square root of 4. But we only kind of use this negative version because negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. We only use the negative root to the square root of 4 uh, when we are solving equations, something like uh, this example right here. So we know that this uh, equation has two solutions. So uh, when we take the square root of both sides, the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 4 is both positive and negative 2, meaning there is one solution, x is equal to 2, and x, the second uh, solution, is negative 2. Okay, so hopefully you understand this concept. And uh, if you do, then all we have to do is figure out how to clean up this equation right here. So anytime you have fractions evolved in, uh, in an equation, the easiest thing to do is just multiply the equation by the LCD, the lowest common denominator. So here, this is 2. Uh, now, 6 actually has a denominator of 1. So the LCD is, of course, 2. So I can just multiply this entire equation by 2, clear the fractions, and that's generally the best approach uh, to start an equation that has uh, fractions in it. 
Okay, now of course that's not the only way, but that's you know, typically the best way. So let's go ahead and see these precise steps. Okay, so now that we know that LCD is two, we're gonna multiply both sides of the equation by two. And the objective uh, there is, to, again, to clear the fraction. So two times one half is one, or uh, one x squared, because we can just write x squared. And then six times two is, of course, 12. Okay, so now here we have a simple uh, quadratic equation. x squared is equal to 12. This is very much uh, like this previous problem I just showed you, x squared is equal to four. So all we need to do right now is take the square root of both sides. And when we do that, we're gonna have the square root of uh, x squared is of course x, and the square root of 12 is uh, square root of 12. Now, if you got this answer, all right, right there, I would say you did pretty good. And I would give you a happy face, but on a test, I would give you maybe a B plus, all right? Now, some of you might be upset about that. You're like, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? You're so mean, that's, so, that's unfair. Well, listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, anytime you're dealing with quadratic equations, especially uh, radicals and square roots, your teacher um, is gonna wanna see you simplify these radicals. Okay, you need to know how to deal with square roots. So uh, again, you know, actually to do this problem here, what, you know, the number of steps is what? First of all, we clear the fractions, that's one step. And then I just simply took the square root of both sides. That's two steps. But now we need to simplify this square root of 12. So let's go ahead and do this now. So x is equal to the square root of 12. Uh, what do we need to do? Well, you're looking for perfect square factors, uh, factors of 12. Perfect squares are 4, 9, 16, etc. These are numbers that you can take the square root of. So do we have a perfect square factor? Yes, we do. It is 4, right? So we can write 12 as four times three. But here, four is a perfect square, all right? So we're not interested in six times two. Of course, that's 12 as well because six and two are not perfect squares. Now, let me just stop myself here. If you are already kind of a little bit overwhelmed or a little bit lost, I'm gonna leave the link to my algebra course. Actually, I'm gonna leave the link to all my courses in the description of this video. But that's where you're gonna find my best full instruction on all this material, okay? All right, so here, there's a couple of things that I want to highlight. So over here, if you wrote this square root of 12, I kind of failed to say this. One thing that you um, should have uh, wrote, now if you didn't write it, is positive and negative, okay? Because here, really, uh, one solution is positive square root of 12 and the other is negative square root of 12. We just need to simplify this. So this, anytime you're dealing with a quadratic equation and you're taking the square root of both sides, make sure you use that positive and negative because there are two solutions there. Okay, so that's why I'm putting this in right here and I left it out to highlight that. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and clean this up. So the square root of 12 we can write as a square root of 4 times 3. And then of course we have these properties of square roots where I can pull these factors apart. So I have the square root of 4 times the square root of 3 in our own individual square roots. And that is awesome because now I can take the square root of 4, which of course is positive negative 2 times the square root of 3. And again, these are two distinct unique solutions. Our first solution would be a positive two times the square root of three, and our second solution would be a negative two times the square root of three. Okay, now, you know, I did obviously, uh, you know, a decent amount of explanation, but really not that many steps to solve a problem like this, right? Which is again, a basic quadratic equation. And, um, Again, you know, a lot of you are like, well, if I get to x squared is equal to 12, I take the square root of both sides, and then on my calculator, I find out, you know, decimal, get a decimal for the square root of 12, an approximation, and put plus or minus in front of it. Well, that would be correct, okay? Uh, but uh, I'm telling you right now, 90% of the time on tests and quizzes, uh, you're going to want to represent your answer uh, like this, okay? So you need to know how to work with these uh, square roots and simplify this, and you know, uh, one last thought on this is, uh, you know, always, you know, look for the most efficient path to solve an equation, okay? Uh, now, you could here be like, well, I got one half x squared is equal to six. Maybe you're thinking, oh, I can, you know, divide one, <clears throat> one uh, both sides of the equation by one half and kind of go, you know, it's basically this would still be x squared is equal to six divided by one half would still give you x squared is equal to 12. So if you did it in that approach, that's fine. But I'm just telling you right now that you really want to keep uh, in mind when you're faced with an equation with fractions to you know clear those fractions 
uh, using LCD. Generally, that's the kind of best approach. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.